9.6 is the new magic number going into these elections. Hi, I'm Ron Futrell with Liberty.com. The Obama administration is full of excuses going into this November elections here. The feds have put out the final numbers before the midterms, and it ain't pretty. 9.6% unemployment, 95,000 jobs lost in the month of September. Of course, we all know the numbers are much higher, the real numbers at least. Gallup says the number's over 10%, and they predicted the Obama administration would underestimate the count given this week. Indeed, they have. 18 months ago, it was just 18 months ago, Obama promised that if he passed the stimulus and spent a trillion of our dollars, our kids' dollars, our grandkids' dollars, that the jobless rate would not go above 8%. It's well above that. Now remember, these are the numbers given out on who are currently out there looking for work right now. It does not count those who have given up looking for work or those who have been taken off unemployment. So the number actually is much higher. Now, how does this affect the midterm elections coming up? Who knows? Uh, it can't be good for the Democrats, certainly. Think of this logic for a moment. Here in Nevada, you have Harry Reid, who says it's his job as senator to protect and create jobs Nevada has the highest unemployment rate in the nation. We are Detroit with neon lights, as you see back there. So, so if Harry Reid admittedly is failing at his job, shouldn't he lose his job? I'm just saying. That's the way I see it. I'm Ron Futrell with Liberty.com.